and to details. The National Elections Authority, the NEA, issued a decree approving 15 electoral symbols for the candidates of the 2024 presidential race. The decree stipulates that every candidate will choose an election symbol according to priority of applying for candidacy. It states that if one of the candidates does not choose a symbol, the NEA will apply one for him for the available symbols. These came as members of the House of Representatives continue signing recommendation forums for the candidates contesting the upcoming presidential race. Speaker of the House of Representatives, Councillor Hanafi Gibeli, took part in the 9th Parliamentary Forum of BRICS Group, which is currently held in South Africa. During the forum, Gibeli stressed the necessity of cementing the parliamentary diplomacy and multi-party policy to deep partnerships between BRICS nations and Africa in order to accelerate the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. He also pointed out the successive global challenges the world face. Gibeli also noted Africa's efforts to launch international partnerships to ensure its active participation in the global decision making regarding prominent issues and challenges such as climate change as well as food and energy security. Egypt condemned the two terrorist attacks that ripped through two mosques in Pakistan on Friday. In a statement, the foreign ministry reiterated Egypt's rejection to all forms of violence and terrorism. Earlier, a suicide bombing and another blast ripped through two mosques in Pakistan on Friday, killing and injuring tens of people. No group has claimed responsibility for the blasts, one of which trapped dozens of people under rubble. They come amid a surge in militant attacks, raising the stakes for security forces ahead of general elections set for January. The first blast was in the southwestern province of Baluchistan, and the second one was in neighboring northwestern Khyber, Pak Tunkawa. Both provinces border Afghanistan and have suffered attacks in recent years by terrorist militants who aim to overthrow Pakistan's government and install their own brand of strict law. The Balochistan blast is a rare attack on civilians as terrorist militants have largely targeted security forces in recent years. Under the auspices of President Abdel Fattah Sisi, the Interior Ministry continues the 24th phase of We Are All One initiative. The initiative aims at providing various food and non-food commodities to citizens at low prices. The initiative has hundreds of branches, including key super and hypermarkets nationwide, as well as Interior Ministry's outlets, MN. The Interior Ministry has announced the increase of the super and hypermarkets participating in the initiative. The commodities are sold at a discount of 25 to 60 percent of its market prices. <laughs> 